Hello and welcome. First we will see what is Bison. After that we can enable Bison on the server and we will learn on the client how to accept Bison responses and send Bison requests. And finally, a small detail, we will see how Bison media type formatters serialize single primitive types. First question, what is Bison? It stands for binary JSON. Objects are represented as name value pairs. Numeric types are stored as bytes, not strings. Is lightweight, easy to scan and fast to encode and decode. Payload in Bison may be smaller or larger than JSON. For example, serializing binary data as a image can be smaller because we don't have to base 64 encode binary. Elements in Bison documents are prefixed with length fields, which means that we can skip elements without decoding them. And Bison was designed for native client apps, not for browser client apps. JavaScript can directly deal with JavaScript object notations, also known as JSON. So what we learn here is JSON was designed for JavaScript. JavaScript was born in browser context. In the other hand, Bison was designed for native client apps. Now that we know what is Bison, let's enable Bison on the server. First, we need to go to the configurations, register, and we add Bison media type formatter to the configuration formatters. So let's do this in the code. In our Hello World project, I already have a Bison controller that contains two classes. The first one is the car with an integer that is the ID, a string that is the brand, a Bison controller that has two action methods. The first one get car and it will return a car with ID 1 and brand Tesla. The second action method is a post car. Receives a car and returns a string with receive car ID and brand. Under configuration, my configuration, we already have here this configuration for Bison, but it is in a comment because I want to test this on Postman before everything. We have a get to get car. In the headers, we have accept application slash Bison and we send. We got a JSON response, ID 1 brand Tesla. Let's enable these and comment and run this again and go to Postman and send the same request without changing anything. And we got something else, an ID, brand and Tesla. It means that Postman tried to print in the most pretty way he could find. This is not JSON, this is a binary. So, what we just saw was, before enabling Bison on the server, we received JSON, after we received a Bison. Just for you to know, this happens because Web API uses content negotiation and this is a topic for another video, okay? I am just saying this for you to know that these have a name, okay? The next thing that we will do is associating another type to Bison media type formatter. I will add application slash ABC. In Postman, if we do a request where we ask for a application ABC slash ABC, we send this and we get a JSON. This is before the configuration. Now we go here to our project. Let me uncomment this and now we can run this again and send the request again. And now, after doing the configuration, we received a Bison, okay? Now we can move to the client side and do the accept Bison response. This is our Web API console client app that we did in the previous video. I changed it a little bit. I moved the code to main console client app demo. This is a method for main Bison demo. We need obviously to create a HTTP client. Then we assign a based address like this and we need to specify the headers. Let me copy from the other scenario the headers. We need these. 
we copy we go here and we paste instead of application JSON is application BSON is the only difference after this we go to the accept BSON response before starting the code here let me first declare here a action that is a string empty and a HTTP response message that is the result and is null now we can go here and say that the action is equals to api slash bison slash get car and the result is equals to client dot get async we pass the action and we want the result after this we have to declare a array of formatters that is equals to new media type formatter array and we just have a bison media type formatter inside of this then we declare a car result.content.read as a sync and we say that we want a car from this and how it will transform the object so we pass the formatters also we want the result Finally, we can say to the user console.writeline client received from server this car. Now we can test, so start, and we get client received from server one Tesla. So we learned here that instead of requiring uh, application slash JSON, we require application slash BSON is the only difference on specifying the others. After this, the difference is that we have to specify an array of formatters where we provide the BSON media type formatter, okay, and we give these formatters array to this method read as a sync okay so the guy knows how to convert the object into a car so the next part is how to send bison requests we will post a car that has an id 123 a brand mercedes first thing to do is define the action action is equals to api slash bison slash post car and then we define a bison formatter and we say new bison media type formatter now we will do the actual post so we say client dot post async and we pass the action we pass the car and we pass the bison formatter and we reclaim the result of course after this we say var response is equals to result dot content dot read as string async and we reclaim again the result and now finally we can say to the end user console write line client received from server this response just this so now let's test this and we get client received from server a value that we don't know what it is and received car one two three Mercedes. So this value is a clue for the next topic. So what we learned was that we need to create a BSON media type formatter again and we call the client post the sync, we pass the action, we pass the car, the object, and we pass the formatter the way it will convert the object into BSON. Okay? The response is exactly the same thing read as string async okay because we are getting strings from the server the next topic is serializing primitive types remember that i said value was a strange thing here where did value come from well we know that bison document is a list of key value pairs there is no syntax for a single raw value like a double or a string in the specification so to work around bison media type formatter treats primitive types as a special case convert single raw values into key value pairs where the key is the value okay in this scenario the server responded a string is a raw value a primitive raw value so it added this value to the key is just that so this is the end and as always thank you for watching